Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. One. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. 
There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death or dismemberment. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping.
Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day and you can go get some coffee. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <laughs> Document results. 
Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint.